Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your May 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. Now, what we will do here, we will divide the topics of this reading uh, loosely, so it is easier um, to understand and also you probably will get more out of them. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the months of May 2022 for the sign of Capricorn before we then go into your emotional core, see what can go or what the guides have to say with regards to love, that kind of stuff, or maybe with regards to healing, before we then go into opportunities, and opportunities for the most part will be what sustains you financially, okay? <coughs> oh, and if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Now, let's have a look at the over energy for the month of May for the sign of Capricorn. Let's have a look what you get. Okay, you have Finding Sanctuary and Wise Leader. What that means is, in the month of May for Capricorn, what is really, really important is that you have a look at how much of my, uh, uh, of my own, of your own um, decisions <clears throat> actually make it into your life, right? So pay attention <coughs> to situations where you feel you have to follow. Maybe you're employed and you don't really like your job, but they pay you, so you stay, that kind of stuff. What they're asking you is to open up to new sources of understanding who you truly are so that you actually can live the life the way it is intended, which is spiritual, if that makes sense. So find your inner, your inner, sounds weird, inner spirituality, because you have an inner spirituality, but understanding that, that because you are very deep and because you are very giving and very deeply feeling, and not everybody <clears throat> in the so-called normal world, regular world, <coughs> um, will understand that and sometimes there are people who will take advantage of your kindness and all these things are just not good for you and the guides are asking you this month to pay attention to where this could lead if you decide to keep following um, rules other people's uh, opinions or guidelines <clears throat> because you have the wise leader which means a lot of people care about what you think and care about how you see the world and they will also take your advice provided that you live the life that makes sense to yourself right so <clears throat> here we go that was the over energy for the month of may for the sign of capricorn now we go into your in, uh, emotional core let's have a look what's happening right there <clears throat> Okay, with regards to emotions, <laughs> can't talk. With regards to emotions, dear Capricorns, you have choosing your path and cleansing water. What the guides are saying at this point in time, with anything that you're trying to manifest when it comes to being in a relationship, or maybe you are in a relationship, then this is the month for you to reflect on that relationship and pay attention to whether or not this is supposed to go into another area because you have choosing your path, which means um, reflect, pay attention to where you are in life. What I'm getting this month is interesting because you have cleansing waters, which has to do with you letting go of all the trauma here. But before you can let go of all the trauma, you have to first choose your path. And what that really means is while you are asked to allow for trauma and all their pain with all things love to release um, said pain. You also ought to look at is where I am at this point in time really where I want to be. And if you are with the partner you want to be, then it makes sense to say to that partner, you know, um, I could do with a bit of support here because I'm trying to heal from other stuff. So let them know you're a bit of damaged goods, right? Who isn't? Um, and, and ask for 
help, ask for support, right? Because the cleansing of water, so cleansing of waters, waters we renewal, um, and and obviously you know letting go. So when you when you look at purifying your emotions, then what they're saying is whatever you carry with you that doesn't serve you, you're not supposed to carry this with you for all eternity, right? Look at what can go. Um, where are you not the same person anymore? How much progress have, have you made? All these kind of things. So pay attention to yourself. It is quite interesting, even though this was the emotional core and before that we had the, um, the overall energy for you guys. What is important, energetically speaking, for Capricorns in the month of May 2022 is that what the universe is really doing to you in May is asking you to remove yourself a little from situations so that you can assess your life and see where you're going, if that makes sense. So there is a bit of a, of a um, new beginning in the air for you, but you know you have to make it happen. Speaking of making it happen, let's just see if there are opportunities coming in for your very sign of Capricorn in the months of May 2022. Now... <clears throat> You have breaking trail. These are just obviously symbolism, right? So you have breaking trail. And the card itself says a breakthrough is at hand, even though that's not exactly what I'm feeling. Right? Those so that, that one liner is not exactly how I feel you uh, when it comes to opportunities. What that means is that you have now understood what it is you should try to manifest or actually should manifest. Pay attention to, again, if you want to make changes, are these changes coming from someone else saying, oh, you know, you could probably apply for this one, uh, you know, it's better pay in the same company, that kind of stuff. Does it come from friends? Like, oh, you know, a friend of mine has this job, blah, blah, blah. While it is not wrong to listen to, to other people <coughs> every now and then, especially when they mean well with you, Capricorns, the, the, the breaking trail, means that now is the time for you to realize if you really pay attention to your solar plexus, if you really pay attention to your intuition, you will now absolutely see what it is you do not want and then see what it is you want and make changes um, with regards to living your life a bit more closely to um, or closely linked to who you truly are, if that makes sense, right? So a lot of changes for you, Capricorn. Um, I should probably um, say that here. While it wasn't a super high energy for you in May, it was not a negative energy at all. All it is is to say, don't just keep going with whatever you are going through or you're just you know going with at this point in time. Because ultimately, that is not the energy that is naturally you in most cases. And remember, this is a general reading, so it might not resonate with all of you. But you are really being asked to say, like, okay, maybe the things that work here, as uh, even though they do work, maybe that's not where I want to be, right? So be, be the person that is honest with yourself and see you know where you are if this is just because it's easy if that makes sense right um, or if you're just sort of semi settling down and uh, because what I'm getting with all the energy here for Capricorns is to be the trail blazer, right do what you want to do with your life okie dokie guys that's all we got time for see you all next month bye bye